In today's video, we're going to be going over a brand new rumor that's very exciting for me, highlighting a possible potential PlayStation 5 launch title. This is coming from Colin Moriarty. He had been hinting at this game for quite a while, and now he's thinking that it could be a PlayStation 5 launch game. We'll go over that. Sony has trademarked PlayStation 5 in US, UK, and multiple other countries, so we've got updates on the PS5 on that end as well. And very interestingly, Platinum Games launches a Platinum 4 teaser website. What could this be for? Is it the wonderful 101 self-published title? Something different altogether? Who knows? We'll go over that at the end of this video. And it's a very interesting time for Platinum Games as they have a lot more financial means than ever before in the past, thanks to a significant capital investment from Tencent Holdings to expand into self-publishing. First up, I want to highlight Insomnia Games possibly working on a brand new Ratchet & Clank game. Obviously, we all know them at this point for Marvel Spider-Man, but prior to that, Insomniac had did a phenomenal job with the Ratchet & Clank titles. Going back to the PlayStation 2 with all of those games released on their Ratchet & Clank, Going Commando, Up Your Arsenal, and I believe Deadlock. Deadlock wasn't as well received, but I really enjoyed Deadlock. And then the PS3 Ratchet & Clank games were awesome as well. At the time that they were released, the PlayStation 3 wasn't completely on fire, but I thought Ratchet & Clank featured Tools of Destruction and Crack in Time. Those were both phenomenal games, and I'd love to see them remastered on the PlayStation 4 or whatever, PlayStation 5, going forward. Uh, but a brand new title for Ratchet & Clank is something that's been hinted at for quite a while. Sacred Symbols host Colin Moriarty has been hinting at the existence of a new Ratchet & Clank title for a little while now, but since it's never been officially announced, he believes that it's being converted to the PlayStation 5. Speaking on his uh, podcast, he said, quote, I feel like that's going to be a launch game, the Ratchet & Clank game that's been long in development at Insomniac. That does seem to make a lot of sense. Ratchet & Clank is one of those franchises that I feel like a lot of people have a ton of nostalgia with, so if that's a launch game, I don't think it's necessarily a compete a complete system seller for everyone. However, I think some people would see that and they would immediately gravitate towards it because those that played Ratchet and Clank on the PS2, they still think very, very fondly about it. Even if you didn't play Ratchet and Clank, the phenomenal games on the PS3 that I would argue are even better than the PS2 games. Majority of people still remember games like Up Your Arsenal. Those games were phenomenal, and I think the Lombax and Clang need to make a comeback. They are two of the most charming characters in the entire PlayStation repertoire, and that's saying a lot because you have all these iconic franchises and characters, but Ratchet and Clang to me really stands out, and I've been wanting to see a new Ratchet and Clank game for quite a while. Now, Truth be told, back in 2016, we did get the Ratchet & Clank reboot, remake, whatever you want to call it, on the PlayStation 4. That was received really, really well. Everybody really liked that game. It was a high-quality title. Ratchet & Clank, just as you knew and love them, at $40 when it initially came out. That was an awesome buy. The Ratchet & Clank movie? Eh, maybe not as well received. But still, I think a new Ratchet & Clank game on the PlayStation 5 is something to certainly consider. Now, some of you guys might be thinking, well, what does that mean for Marvel Spider-Man 2? Well, Insomnia is now a first-party Sony studio, I imagine that they've got a lot more resources than ever before. They could easily have two games concurrently in development, being a Marvel Spider-Man 2, which I think is absolutely in development right now. After the amazing success of the first game, you want to parlay on that success as quick as possible. Maybe it won't come out this year, but I think 2021, maybe early 2022, we could easily see the release of a new Spider-Man game. You don't want to wait too, too long, especially with a game like that, where it was so narrative driven. However, I could see a Ratchet and Clank title that has been in the works for quite a while being released this year, and I don't think that the resources dedicated to a Ratchet and Clank game would be quite as high as a Marvel Spider-Man, but nonetheless, I might be wrong about that. Whatever the case may be, Ratchet and Clank could be locked and loaded for a PlayStation 5 launch, and I would absolutely love to see that. All right, staying on the PlayStation 5 news, Sony trademarks PS5 in United States, UK, and multiple other countries. Following on from the news that Sony had registered a trademark for uh, PlayStation 5 and PS5 in Switzerland, the company has now nailed down trademarks in the US, UK, New Zealand, and Australia. Obviously, this news doesn't come as a huge surprise, but it's still a surefire sign that things are moving forward with the release of the PlayStation 5 and everything coming together as far as that is concerned. Trademarks can sometimes point towards an imminent announcement or influx of information on a certain product, and with the PlayStation 5 reveal event heavily uh, rumored to be happening either this month or next month, this could be an indicator that it's not too far off. As usual though, with all of the PlayStation 5 talk, do take it with a grain of salt for now as we still don't know everything, we don't have all of the details. At this point, I don't even know if the reveal event is going to happen in February. 
So many people were hoping and praying for the reveal event uh, to be announced on January 31st, much like it happened with the PlayStation 4. Obviously, that didn't come to fruition, but let's wait and see, and hopefully things turn out for the best and we see the PlayStation 5 in action sooner rather than later. I think at this point, the majority of people just want to hear about the games. We need to know what games are coming to the PS5 more than anything else, and I think once we get the ball rolling on that, everybody's going to be super stoked, and everybody already is stoked. It's just the games would add another layer to the excitement. And lastly, I do want to highlight Platinum Games launching a brand new Platinum 4 teaser website. What is this for? Nobody really knows, but Platinum Games has launched the teaser website titled Platinum 4. The information text on the website reads, hashtag Platinum 4 site is now open. On January 31st, Platinum Games tweeted what appeared to be a wonderful 101 related uh, teaser. It showed director Hideaki Kamiya a computer screen with the time and date 101 on 10 1 and a switch. Platinum Games also recently announced it received a capital investment from Tencent Holdings to expand into self publishing. That's probably something bigger than anything else because if you guys aware of Platinum Games, while they aren't a studio that's owned by anyone else, generally speaking, they work with other publishers uh, to bring their games out, whether it be a Nintendo with games like Bayonetta 3, whether it be a Square Enix with games like Nier Automata, Platinum usually works with other major publishers, even Microsoft for a while they were working with, to bring out Scalebound, obviously that didn't uh, come to fruition, that was a very unfortunate sign of that partnership going forward, but still, Platinum Games generally doesn't publish games on their own, however, in in this case, with Tencent Holdings funding a with a capital investment, they are probably going to get into that territory, and Platinum Games working on some stuff on their own, that is something that I could get very excited for. At this point, Platinum Games is enormous. They've got so many people working for them, especially with all of the games that they have in development. You're talking with Square Enix, they've got, uh, they've got Babylon's Fall in development, they've got Bayonetta 3, they've got a bunch of other projects that they haven't talked about in development. Platinum Games is generally, right now, a huge, huge studio and they're concurrently developing a lot of games at this point you might even say hey are they more so of a publisher than being a studio within themselves because they have so many games in development that rival a lot of other publishers they're not quite at the territory of being like a thq nordic having a million games in development but they definitely have a lot of varied projects in the works but the majority of them are retaining that high octane action gameplay that people know and love out of platinum and with this platinum 4 teaser i don't know what it could be i saw some people on social media talking talking about crazy things like Drakengard 4 or something like that. I don't necessarily know if it's going to be that either, but whatever the case may be, if it's Platinum Games, if they're working on something new and compelling, you know that's something I'm personally going to be all over, and I'm excited to hear what it is. At this point, your guess is as good as ours, but you got to think about that wonderful 101-related tweet a while back. That game, I don't think, would cause up as much speculation, but nonetheless, it is something to talk about. And that's going to conclude this video. Again, Ratchet and Clank could be locked and loaded for a PlayStation 5 launch if Colin Moriarty is to, uh, to be believed. He's been hinting at this game for quite a while. He's speculating that speculation that the game could be a PlayStation 5 launch game, and that would be rather exciting. If it has been in development for quite a while, and it could end up being a launch title, hey, why not make it happen? Sony has trademarked PS5 in US, UK, and multiple other countries, and Platinum Games has launched the Platinum 4 teaser website. Is that for Wonderful 101, a self-published title? Again, leave your guesses in the, uh, in the comment section down below. That's going to conclude conclude this video sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below thank you for watching and goodbye hey guys we hope you enjoyed the video and if you did make sure to hit the subscribe button and if you're already subscribed do us a favor and hit the bell icon this way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video that's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads and we usually try to upload two videos a day and with the bell icon hit you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video as always thanks for watching